I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Bible Study Thursday, Galatians 3, 10 to 14. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you have been learning about your Christian faith, or just having a blast learning about what we believe as Lutherans, go ahead and hit like and subscribe today. You can also go to support.higherthings.org, higherthings.org, and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, which is a youth ministry, which is all about passing on the faith to the next generation. We do it in, in videos, in, in in a magazine, in a um, uh, on conferences. It helps keep us going. This week, we have two conferences going on, one in Seward, Nebraska, and one in Minneapolis, St. Paul, uh, about Concord, the unity of the faith. Um, I'll be there in Minneapolis today, um, and through the magic of the internet, I'm here in Louisiana in my parish with you because of advanced preparation. It's amazing that all the videos this week, I look exactly the same and have the same stubble on my face. Hmm, it's magical. All right, um, Galatians 3.10. For all who uh, all of those out of works of the law are are under a curse. Now we're going to start to get to the nitty gritty. Remember that Paul has been making the argument over and against the idea that um, that Christianity or being a real Christian is about Jesus and something you do. That, you know, Jesus saves you, that's great, but you have to do something. And that something in Galatia was circumcision. And Paul's argument is, you know, if it's Jesus plus something else, then Christ died in vain. There's the law and works and there's faith and the gospel. And God wants to deal with you by faith alone. And so as we sort of look at this text, he starts to really heat it up in Galatians 3. You know, those who, uh, the ESV says rely, but it's really those who are are of out of works. So you're like, you want to deal with God based upon works, you're under a curse. For it is written, the Old Testament, Cursed is everyone who does not abide by all the things written in the book of the law doing them. So, you know, it's the idea that, you know, when you take on the law, and he's loosely quoting, this is Deuteronomy 27 and 28, but, um, the idea is, like, look, if you want to run things by the law, if you want to deal with God by what you do and don't do, or 99% Jesus and 1% you, then you're under a curse. Because cursed is everyone who does not do everything that is written in the law, uh, who does not abide, remain, you know, live in everything that of, of the law, of the book of the law, and do them. Now, it is... Um, No more. It is um, like because in the law, no one is able to be righteous or justified by God. And that, that's clear. That's evident. So it's, it's like evident that no one can stand before God forgiven out of the works of the law or in the law. For the just shall live by his faith. Abraham, it was said that Abraham lived by his faith. The just shall live by faith, Habakkuk. And so these are two mutually exclusive things, the law and faith. The law and the gospel. Works and faith, law and gospel, what you do and Jesus are mutually exclusive things. You're either saved by what you do or you're saved by Jesus alone. you either saved by faith, that is receiving Jesus, or you're saved by works that you do. 
It's not 50-50. It's one or the other. And if you do this, then you're you're under a curse because cursed is everyone who doesn't do the, the everything in the law or live in everything in the law and do them. The law is not out of faith. But the one who does, does these things shall live in them or by them. So he said, I'm not making this up that, that law and, and faith are two mutually exclusive things. He says, no, the law is not out of faith. It's just not. You're the saved by Jesus or you're saved by what you do. Paul, Christ has bought us back or bought us out of, literally redeemed us, out of the kataros, the curse, the maledicto is the Latin, sort of, yeah, the curse of the law by becoming the curse for us. For thus it is written, cursed is everyone who is hanging, hanged on a tree. So what is great about this is it tells you what Jesus did. He became your curse. He became what God is mad at in your life. He became what God is upset at in your life. He took upon himself your sin and he died. He became your sin and he became the curse of the law for you. So you go away scot-free because he took upon the punishment, the curse, the judgment of Adam and you. He has taken it all upon himself and it died with him. So that in Christ Jesus... The blessing of Abraham would happen to the Gentiles, to the nations, so he might receive the promised spirit through faith. Having received the spirit through the faith. She didn't receive the spirit. You didn't receive life. You don't receive salvation. You don't receive eternal life through what you do and don't do. You receive it through the faith, through believing that God has sent his son into the world to die for you. In Christ, the blessing of Abraham Abraham comes even to us Gentiles, nations, sinners, When you hear Gentile, you should hear sinner. In Christ, the blessing of Abraham might come to sinners, those outside the faith, those who are not holy, those who don't have their stuff together, those who aren't right. They're made right in Jesus who became our curse because he died on the tree for us. Cursed is anyone who hangs on a tree. So we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Today, It's all about these two mutually exclusive things. Well, okay, that was four. This is two. Two mutually exclusive things. The law and faith. Works and Jesus. He became the curse. He has taken on himself the law. Jesus takes on himself the law and the law dies with him. The curse of the law dies with him. The condemnation of the law dies dies with him. Life under the law dies with him. Does this make us anarchists? No, that's just foolish. That's just crazy. That's that's just not... Are we now, we're, we're now just going to live in our, in our sins? No, you've been baptized. But we'll get to that in a later thing. It's enough to say here, these two things, law and gospel, mutually exclusive things, you're either saved by the law or saved by the gospel. And having begun in the gospel, you're also, you live your life in the gospel, not in the law, under the law, in the condemnation of the law, in the curse of the law, in this business of Jesus loves you, but you need to do X, Y, Z, P, Q, A, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Whatever that is. Jesus saved you by grace alone, received by faith alone. That's how Gentiles are made part of the promise of Abraham. And this is Bible Study Thursday. Leave your questions in the comments 
we'll deal with them as best we can. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.